Hey, I'm Henry Kaiser, um, and I made about, I've been on about 250 albums, done a lot of film soundtracks and things like that. Um, my original influences were probably Derek Bailey, John Fahey, Elliot Ingbert, uh, Hubert Sumlin, Albert Collins, um, Sonny Chirac. So I came from an experimental guitar and a psychedelic guitar background. Done a lot of collaborations with people from other cultures, from Norway, Sweden, Vietnam, Madagascar, um, Korea. Um, and I've got to make a lot of records. Here's me and my guitar and all my stuff and my wonderful Vertex pedalboard. And you get to be old, you get to be near 60 here in September. Um, and you get tired of carrying all that stuff around and taking it apart and putting it together and taking longer than the drummer to put things away, that's not good. Um, so I had you, Mason, make me this, a couple of pedal boards actually. This is the second one you made. This is my traveling pedal board for going international because it's small enough to fit in a case that can be checked on the airline. And it has all the stuff that I need to play without using any rack gear. So I can go somewhere, and get a Fender Twin Reverb and pretty much get the sound I'm used to with a Dumble or a Two Rock or a Glassworks amp. Backwards, at the end, there's the wet reverb. Um, and that's my favorite reverb pedal. If I turn it up a little bit and set it short, it's almost, it's almost like a, a slap. And if I turn it nice and long all the way up, um, it has these ghostly trails and infinite. What's in the signal path? The first thing is my favorite compressor, um, the Old World Audio 1960 compressor. You probably can barely hear. It's really squishing sound. distortion pedals we have one. first one is a Greek pedal the starlight from crazy tube circuits and it's a very mid-rangey not very bright fuzz <laughs> because it's kind of quiet when you're not playing, but if I... It shuts up. I have on my pedal board two dumb Kudo pedals uh, by Mr. Tanabe in Japan. This first one is a super dumb kudo, which was an idea of mine to have twice as much gain as, as usual. So it's got a crazy amount of gain. Then we have my favorite fuzz pedal of all time, another gated fuzz pedal, the Tech 21 Torsion. I have to say that so many times, half of the times on records, 
I'll just use this pedal direct in the guitar. I really love this pedal. Um, it's kind of a sound of mine. <laughs> After that, the final distortion pedal is a regular dumb kudo, which I don't have set for too high gain, which I can use for kind of tone shaping of the stuff that goes before it, or I could overdrive it with the other pedals and it gets a very nice sustain. But if I overdrive it in front of it, factor. I use it for an effect I've done for years that I would do with an external harmonizer. So if you're playing and you want to hammer and you want to hammer on, I'm kind of too lazy to bring the extra hand in to do it. So let's see open string. The fifth, the seventh fret, I do that with the pedal. So no hand. So, if I add distortion to that, Finally, before the reverb, we have a TC Electronic Flashback, which I'm using for its reverse delay. Um, reverse delay, means it takes little chunks of what you play and then turns them around and plays them back backwards. So 